Hey guys, today I'll be looking at a 2022 Vauxhall Grandland. This is a Vauxhall's um, new SUV. I think they started making these a couple years ago. It's a 22 plate, 2022. Finished in carbon black metallic. This is a 1.6 plug-in hybrid GS line. So it's in the middle for trims. It's got some nice features on it. You get the Ultimate, which is the top trim. The Elite, which is below that and the GSE and the GSI. You've got a four wheel drive version of GSE, which is actually Vauxhall's most powerful uh, engine, 300 brakes. It's 1.6, 225 brake. Get 18 inch uh, gloss black wheel standard. The GS line is like the sporty one. It's a remembrance to the old uh, Vauxhall GSIs before the VXRs existed. Got all blacked out badges, Grand Land and the blacked out Vauxhall badge privacy glass you've got uh, what's this double-ended charging cable most likely have to pay for a three pin um, Vauxhall's now part of the FCA group so Fiat Chrysler Alfa Romeo uh, Citroen DS and uh, yes yeah, so Vauxhall is with that and Peugeot as well so yep privacy glass as I said Interior, you've got full cloth interior, but obviously you do have these leather, um, almost leather bolsters, half leather bolsters with white stitching and uh, leather headrests here. The middle seat is also leather, which is nice, two cup holders. So yeah, light, light um, headlining as well, that's quite nice. The USB type two, it's got a full set of carpet mats. I'm not sure if they're uh, optional or standard on a this car four-way lumbar support for the driver electric and uh, upper electric seat tilt moving in just click the start button I did notice when um, I was looking at this car um, it's actually got Peugeot window switches um, those look straight out for 307 from 2005 um, but yeah, obviously how they used to have it. You just pull down on this button and uh, it's got electric folding mirrors, which is nice. You've got automatic LED headlights as well. Uh, SOS button. Obviously, like I said, it's part of the Stellantis group. So Fiat Chrysler, Alfa Romeo, you've got all this um, Citroen, you know, radio, this panel. I've just reviewed a... Uh, an Insignia, not too long ago, it's got the same climate control, two zone climate control. Fun fact, this is the only car I've ever reviewed or sat in with a heated steering wheel, but no heated seats. It's very unusual, but yeah, it does have a heated steering wheel. And it's also got adaptive cruise control standard, uh, voice control, Bluetooth, paddle shift. Obviously it's a plug-in, so it's not fully electric. Uh, just got four, under four and a half thousand miles. Uh, you've got different features. You've got active um, emergency braking, traffic sign recognition, TSR, and driver attention warning. You've got this, uh, looks like a lane lane assist. Yeah, with adaptive cruise. It's got adaptive cruise with steering assist, which is nice. And that's the lane keeping button here. Uh, you've got pre-timed climate that's a fuel flap the petrol fuel flap the electric ones um just uh, clicking click on child locks and then actual all four door locks that's a lock in you've got different drive modes sport hybrid electric you've got its 10 inch uh, navi pro system they call it so you get navigation on this trim which is nice and yeah even if you don't like the nav you can uh, have apple carplay on android auto so that's nice. Obviously, two zone climate control. That's nice. Uh, this full digi dash that actually looks quite nice. Actually, quite sporty looking. You've got plastic leather everywhere with white stitching, which is nicer than just having plastic. To be honest, you've got this nice carbon fiber look trim as well. It, it almost looks like carbon fiber, but yeah. What can you expect for a Vauxhall? You've got the nice. Uh, Plastic leather dashboard, some piano black trim over here. 12 volt socket with a USB type two. 
cup holder storage. This thing's removable as well. So lots of nice little storage places. If you actually look at the key as well, it's literally just it literally just looks like a Citroen or Peugeot key. But all they've done is just put a Vauxhall badge, so yeah. So I'm sure trying to find parts of this car or any such would be extremely easy as there'll be a huge abundance with those Peugeot, Peugeot window switches. Got LED headlights. I'm not sure if this is the Intellilux system. They used the main Signia reviewed, but yeah, LED headlights. Blacked out badge. I actually think that looks really cool. Blacked out, just everything blacked out looks nice. The privacy, the window uh, trims, the, the window uh, surrounds, and then the wheels, and then all the badges. I think that actually looks really cool. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.